Elon, thank, thanks for being here. Uh, with your background in payment systems, uh, you understand uh, the important role of uh, security and transactions. Uh, yeah. Now that you've got, I, I think security is a huge concern. Like cybersecurity. Yes, and you're in, in, a, in, a, in the vehicles you're building now are incredibly complex software systems. I mean, the car is really yep. a rolling piece of software. It is. It's like a laptop on wheels. Yes. So, uh, share with us a little bit about uh, your thoughts on cybersecurity and how you how how, how we protect. Uh, you talk about protecting society when uh, yep. you've got a rolling fleet of. Um, I, I think one of the biggest uh, risks for autonomous vehicles is somebody achieving um, a fleet-wide hack. Um, you know, in principle, if, if somebody was able to hack, say, all of the autonomous Teslas, they could say, I mean, just as a prank, they could say, like, send them all to Rhode Island <laughs> from across the United States. <laughs> and they'd be like, well, okay, that would be the end of Tesla. <laughs> um, and there'll be a lot of angry people in Rhode Island, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so uh, we've got to make super sure that, uh, that a fleet-wide hack is basically impossible, and that if people are in the car, that they have uh, override authority on uh, whatever the car is doing. So if the car is doing something wacky, uh, you can press a button that no amount of software can override that will ensure that the, uh, you, you, you gain control of the vehicle. Um, and kind of cut, cut the link to the servers. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty fundamental. Um, within the car, we actually have, even, even if somebody gains access to the car, there are multiple subsystems within the car that, that, that also have uh, specialized encryption. So the powertrain, for example, has specialized encryption. So even if somebody would gain access to the car, they cannot gain access to the powertrain or to the braking system. Um, and um, but it is my top, top concern from a security standpoint at Tesla is making sure that fleet-wide hack or any vehicle-specific hack can occur. The, the same, the, they have the same problem with cell phones. Um, you know, uh, if we're, it's, it's kind of crazy today that we live quite uh, comfortably in, in, a, in a world that George Orwell would have thought was super crazy. Um, like, we, we, we all carry... Um, a phone with a, with, with a microphone that can be turned on really at any time without our knowledge with a GPS that knows our position um, and a camera um, and uh, well kind of all of our personal information. Um, we do this um, willingly um, and uh, it's kind of wild to think that that's the case. Um, so so pho the, the phone like Apple and and uh, Google kind of have the same challenge of making sure there cannot be a fleet-wide hack or, or a system-wide hack of phones um, or, or a specific hack. So that, that's our top, our top concern. Um, yeah, it become a, it's going to become a bigger and bigger concern. It, I think Tesla's, um, I don't want to tempt fate here, but Tesla's, Tesla's pretty good at software compared to the other car companies. Um, and um, so I do I think it's going to be a bit, like an even bigger challenge for, for the other car companies to ensure security. Yeah.